Bokoroboshende. Thank you, musicians. I think maybe you might stay there for a little while. Amen. 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 John, are you good? Are you good? Okay, dude. Okay, good, good, good. All right. Hallelujah. Well, it's great to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. Are you glad to be in the house of the Lord? Hey, you know, God has got an appointment with you today. I don't where you hear about it in a second, but I don't know about you. You know, last night, I flew in from Mauritius at 12 o'clock last night to be here. Yes. And God told me some things on the beach in Mauritius. I hope this, I hope this, uh, the sister, sister, sister Mercy, is she here? Or sister Mercy from the praise team. Yeah, 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 you're here. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, you know, okay, I'll tell you later. I'll tell you later. But, you know, God has got a, and, you know, I came in, I came in at midnight last night, you know, got home. I was up to 3 a.m. God woke me up at 6 o'clock in the morning. He gave me all these words. So, you know, God has a special, 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 special word for you today. Amen. I'm excited. I may be a little bit tired, but I'm excited. And God has strengthened us. Amen. Hallelujah. I received that word. Hallelujah. But well, welcome to our special service and series on divine encounter, encounter with God, as Pastor, uh, as Pastor Fred started um, last week our months and welcome to our months of conquest and to our year of evident progress and i want to first and foremost thank pastor fred for the opportunity and i appreciate him you know i talked to, talk to him about this this um, this uh, service as well and he was telling me uh, past, um, minister moses just calm down we'll fix it into the date amen thank you pastor fred amen this service this service and next week and the next one after that, whatever you do, you don't want to miss it. You don't want to miss next week's service. You don't want to miss the Thanksgiving service that we have at the end of whatever is on your schedule, put it aside. Amen. 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 This is the empowerment center. Because as Pastor Matthew would normally say, it's going to be lit. Amen. It's going to be lit. Amen. So whatever Whatever you're doing, there can be no excuse. You should be here. Amen. Hallelujah. And I really mean that as well. And, you know, the, the prayer topic for today was, you know, um, was, was given a, 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 was a, few, a few weeks ago. And at the place of glory in Nairobi, there's the place of glory where God shows up. And God revealed the place, uh, and you know where it is. And you know, God showed me something. You know, I'm always at Aboritum. Some of you have not been to Aboritum. I don't know why, because God always shows up there, and He shows up here as well. But you know, God, when I was when I was um, thinking about this the other day, you know, every time I think I've been living in Kenya for the last five and a half, six years. And, you know, I have never been in a place where every time God just speaks to me, for me, a lot, a lot of the time as well. And, you know, but in Aboritum, and I'm, nobody has paid, paid me to, to advertise Aboritum. So let me, just, uh, let me just tell you this. But actually, every time I go there in the morning, there's somebody praying, saying, Shanda, ba, 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 there's always some, a group of people worshipping in the corner. They're always celebrating. And then one day, God said, you know, don't you know, Moses, that this atmosphere has been wet. And that's why things happen. And that's why I reveal and talk to you and whatever as well. So I'm not saying, I'm not, I'm not uh, promoting aboritum, but I'm just saying that this word was given to you, me up there as well, and I'm excited. So please open your hearts and flow with today. Amen. 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 That's why we, we talk. God gave me that word that we should cast aside every burden. Amen. Hallelujah. First Samuel 10, verse 1 to 7. First Samuel 10, verse 1 to 7. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then Samuel, this is a well-known story, then Samuel took a flask of oil and poured it on his head and kissed him and said, is it not because the Lord has anointed you commander over his inheritance? Verse 2 then said, when you have departed from me today, you will find two men by Rachel's tube in the territory of Benjamin, of Zelza, and they will say to you, the donkeys 
which you went, which you went to look for, have been found. And now your father has seized caring about the donkeys and is worrying about you, saying, What shall I do about my son? This is to Saul. Verse 3 then says, Then you shall go on forward from there and come to the terribith tree of Tabor. There three men going up to the to God at Bethel will meet you, one carrying three young goats, another carrying three loaves of bread, and another carrying a skin of wine. And they will greet you and give you two loaves of bread, which you shall receive from their hand. After that, you shall come to the hill of God, where the Philistine garrison is, and it will happen when you have come there to the city, that you meet a group of prophets coming down from the high place with a string, with string instrument, a tambourine, a flute, a harp before them, and they will be prophesying. Then the spirit of the Lord will come upon you and you will prophesy with them and be turned into another man. And let it be when these signs come to you that you do as the occasion demands for God is with you. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord Father. The entrance of your word brings life and light, O oh Lord, and revelation, O oh Lord Father. We pray, Father, let your word, O oh Lord, let your word dominate in the name of Jesus, O oh Lord. Let your word dominate in the, in the name of Jesus, O oh Lord. This clay, these lips of clay, O oh Lord, today, O oh Father, overtake them, overwhelm them, O oh Lord. Let your spirit speak, O oh Lord, in me and through, you, through me, O oh Lord, to your people, O oh Lord. More of you and less of me, more of your power and less of my own power, O oh Lord. We cast down every imagination this mean this morning, O oh Lord. We lift every every we cast down every burden that any of your people may have, O oh Lord, and we we declare peace and freedom, O oh Lord, because your word says, O oh Lord, that he who the Son sets free, O oh Lord, is free to thee, O oh Lord. Today your people will be loosed in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. You know, Pastor, Pastor Fred kicked off the, the Encounter with God series last week, Divine Encounter. And every time in the Bible, you know, we see this, that every time in the Bible um, that people had an encounter with God or with the power of God, something happened. You know, and Pastor Fred gave examples of Moses. We looked at Gideon, Abraham, Mary, the woman at the well. And, you know, particularly Pastor Fred focused on Jacob last week as well. And it was an excellent message. And, you know, and that still, uh, that still applies to today. It's not an Old Testament or even, you know, maybe back then in the New Testament. It even applies today. Many people have had and I'm sure will have again a divine encounter. Amen. 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 You will have a divine encounter. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, my one of my sons, I won't tell you which one. I have three boys, as you know. And the other day, he, he was witnessing to one of his friends, I think at a basketball court, court. And, you know, he invited them to basketball and they were playing. And then they, you know, they asked the guy to give his life to Jesus. And the guy said, okay, I'll give my life to Jesus. And they, on the basketball court, they were praying for him. And as they laid their hand, it was just him and one other person. As they laid their hands on the guy, boom, the guy started speaking out in tongues. Somebody who had just been born again. Started, and my son said, Dad, I jumped back because I said, oh, my goodness, what is this? It's not from me. My goodness, da, 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 and whatever. That was an encounter. There was another time where he broke his, he broke his, um, he broke his uh, leg um, playing um, uh, basketball and he was in a cast and he went to church and he was in a cast and, he, you know, he struggled, he got there, whatever. And then what the, the head pastor of the church came from London and, you know, they were just praying and, you know, and he was saying, you know, if there's anybody that is, you know, that is sick or whatever, be healed. And, you know, and, he, and, and as he said that, you know, he said that, you know, what happened was like something moved from my leg, from my right leg to my left leg, just like that. And on that day, the crutches that he brought to church, he left them and walked on his two feet. 
And you know, so when he, and even when he recited, when he recited this to me, even I was excited as well because you know it's an encounter with god and when you have an encounter with god you know nothing 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 can change it one and forever you are impacted forever you're impacted so when it comes to things of god or whatever you know i don't need to even talk much because he's had the encounter amen and my my prayer and my belief and that's why pastor fred started the series is that you and i will have encounters with god more and more amen and we're gonna have one this morning amen hallelujah you know when we have an encounter with god something happens people are changed forever and for good it leaves a mark on you and you yourself will know and others will feel it and others will see it amen this is what happened to saul he had an encounter with god first um or first um Samuel 10, 1, he said, Samuel took a flask of oil, poured it on his head and kissed him and said, is it not because the Lord has anointed you commander over his inheritance? He was anointed to be king over Israel. I mean, when, 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 when um, Samuel mentioned this, he said, me, 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 I'm, I'm of the least, we are of the least tribe of Benjamin. Why should, should this happen to us? In verse two, he then said, when you, and then Samuel said, when you have departed from me today, you will find two men by Rachel's tomb in the territory of Benjamin at Zeza, and they will say, the donkeys which you went to look for have been found, and now your father is caring about the donkeys and is worrying about you. He had reassurance. Don't worry, all is well. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Then verse 3 then said, Then you go to the, then you will go, you go on forward from there and come to the terrible tree of Tabor. There's three men going up to um to the God at Bethel will meet you. One carrying three young goats, another carrying three loaves of bread, another carrying a skin of wine, and they will greet you and give you two loaves of bread, which you shall receive from their hand from their hand. Three men will meet you. Goat for sacrifice, wine for celebration, bread for provision. And one will give you two out of the three. I mean, when you, if you have three loaves of bread, and you know, why would you give two, uh, no, not two thirds, 66%, two, um, two thirds of it to somebody? Normally you say, okay, you okay, sold me, you can take one, and that will leave me with two or whatever. But he brought three, but in fact, he gave him two out of the three. That is divine favor. Amen. And after that, you shall come to the hill where the Philistines garrison is. And it will happen when you have come there to the city that you meet a group of prophets coming down from the high place with a string instrument, a tambourine, a flute, and a, he and a harp before them. And they will be prophesying. Then the spirit of the Lord will come upon you and you will prophesy with them and be turned into another man. Complete transformation complete transformation all these things happened through the encounter with god after saul met prophet the prophet samuel wow and we all yearn to have such transformation i don't know about you do are you do you think you are you're 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 you're, you're together you don't you don't need god to 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 do anything for you i do does anybody else need some transformation? Okay, you can leave you at the back. Okay, a few of us. Okay, the rest of you, please. I mean, after the service, you tell me what, what I don't know as well. Amen. We all need transformation, a transformation in all one way. But you know, or do you know, do you know something? You know, we can provoke divine encounter. We can provoke it. Amen. Yes, we can provoke that divine encounter ourselves. And that is what we're going to do today. We're going to provoke a divine encounter, an encounter greater than souls that we've just read. Amen? And you must be asking, Brother Moses, how can we do that? There are many ways, but we're going to stick with the example in our text series, uh, in, our te in our foundational sec um, text uh, um, this morning. And how did he provoke this divine encounter at this point in his life? And to do that, we need to track back a little bit and find the answer. So if you go with me to 1 Samuel 9, 3 to 6. 1 Samuel, this is before 1 Samuel 10, before all of this happened. Are we there? 
Okay, Livia. Okay, thank you. And now the do the donkeys of Kish, verse one of First Samuel. So First Samuel nine, verse three says, "Now the donkeys of Kish, Saul's father, were lost." And Kish said to his sons, uh, "Saul, please take one of the servants with you and arise, go and look for the." donkeys. So he passed through the mountains of Ephraim and through the land of Shalisha, but they did not find them. Then they passed through the land of Shalim, and they were not there. Then they passed through the land of Benjamin, but they did not find them. And when they had come to the land of Zuth, Saul said to his servant, who was with him? Come, let us return. Let my father be caring about Donkeys have been and become more worried about us. And he said to him, Look now, there is in this city a man of God, and he is an honorable man. All that he says surely come to pass. So let us go there. Perhaps he can show us the way that we should go. After searching and searching, he said, Let's go to the man of God for advice, direction. Maybe he will tell us what to do. They went to a prophet. But thank God, we have direct access to the Spirit of God. Amen. They had to go to a prophet. Amen. Basically, what they did after trying all their efforts was to admit and declare these four powerful words. After all the things that they've done, you know, they, you know, they, they were able to admit and declare these powerful words. And these powerful words are these, are this. Lord, I need help. Amen? Lord, I need help. And you will say, Bawana, Bawana Nahitaji Masanda. Yeah? Masanda, Masanda. Okay, Masanda. I, I said that so I could wake you up. Because well, some of you are sleeping on the other side. Yeah. Lord, I need help. That is something that we don't do enough. Yet, it was the admission, the acknowledgement, the acceptance, and the announcement from their own mouth that provoked this encounter with God. Amen. I don't know about you, but, you know, and with all that is happening in our individual situations, our mistakes, our efforts that are not yielding fruit. We may have lost some things. We may have lost opportunity, relationship, money. We need to admit and say, we need your help, Lord. We need your help, Lord. After doing all the things that we're all doing, all we need to go is, Lord, you know what? I need your help. Amen. And that's what Saul and, you know, his servant did. They went and said, okay, we need to find somebody who is going to help us. Let us go to the prophet. We've been going through all of these places and whatever, but now let us go to the prophet. Amen. And, and you know, and that is going to be our focus of our prayer this morning. We're saying to the Lord, we have tried it our own way. We need divine help and we need divine helpers. Amen. We need divine help and we need divine helpers. Amen. And that is how we have a divine encounter. And, and you know, we're going to be praying today. Our focus will be, Lord, send us divine help. Send us divine helpers. And we're going to be looking at some of those divine helpers. Because the Bible says in Hebrews 4, 16, in the Amplified Version, it says this. It says, therefore, let us, this is Hebrews 4, verse 16, the Amplified Version says, therefore, let us with privilege approach, uh, with, with privilege, approach the throne of grace. That is the throne of God's gracious favor with confidence and without fear so that we may receive mercy for our failures and find his amazing grace to help in time of need an appropriate blessing coming just at the right moment. Amen. And we need God's help at the right moment. Amen. Now, amen. When you look at what is happening around the economy, you know, the Bible says, you know, man cannot live on bread alone. Yeah, but by, by, um, by based on every word that proceeds out of the man of God. When you see what is actually happening and whatever, you can't, you can't rely on 
the economy. Yeah, because they're taxing you, taxing you left, right, and center. Mm, almost up to 52%. Yeah, okay. But God will provide because we're not relying on the economy of, of the world. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So we're going to rise. I want you to take up a comfortable position, a comfortable place. And, you know, when, when, and, and you know, when you're in need of help, you don't stay quiet. You cry out with your mouth. Many times the, in, the, in the Bible, the, the, they, they talk about the children of Israel cried out to the Lord and he replied and he heard the cry of his people. So today you're going to have to speak. So wherever you are, we're going to stand and we're going to pray. We're going to enter a time of prayer. Amen. Hallelujah. Rabababa shokorobo shikere bababa. Psalm 121, verse 1 to 2. Hallelujah. Verse Psalm 121, verse 1 to 2 says, I will lift up my eyes to the hill. From whence come my help? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. First and foremost, we're going to say, Lord, forgive me for trying to do it my own way, O Lord. Lord, have mercy upon us, O Lord. We've tried it. We've tried it just like Saul. We tried it our own way. It has not worked. Oh Lord, forgive us, oh Lord, this morning. We repent, oh Lord, for not bringing the issues before you first, oh Lord, but trying to do it in our own way. In the name of Jesus, forgive us, oh Lord. Have mercy, oh Lord. Have mercy, oh Lord. Forgive us, oh Lord. Today, we repent, oh Lord, for not considering you first, oh Lord, for doing it in our own effort. Forgive me, Lord. Forgive me, Lord. Makere boshondo, brakete ter, reke bobo, reke be 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 yeke. Have mercy, Lord. You are a mercy for God. Have mercy, O Lord. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Hekere boshete, rabokondo, mandere bokondo, rekere boshende, rakaba ba 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 yeke, reke boshondo. This morning we declare, O Lord, that we lift our eyes to you, O Lord. 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 Makere bobobo, rakaba ba 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 yeke. I I choose to cry to you, O Lord. Mate krepo, mande repo, reke bondo. Hera cry, O Lord. Hekere bobo 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 bobo. Reke boshoto. Our help does not come from our connections or our abilities or our skills. O oh Lord, but our help comes from you, O oh Lord. We lift our eyes to you, O oh Lord. Oh, KICV Kenya, this morning, we lift our eyes to God, to where our help comes from. Our help comes from God. Not man, not the government. Not our uncles, not our aunts, not our economy, not what we are doing, not our skill and our knowledge, O oh Lord. Our help comes from you. So today, we look to you, O oh Lord. We lift our eyes to you, O oh Lord. Psalm 59, verse 4. Psalm 59 verse 4 then said, then run and prepare themselves through no fault of mine. Awake to help me and behold. So you're going to pray. Awake, O oh Lord, to help me. Awake, O oh Lord, to help me. Awake, O oh Lord, to help us, O oh Lord. You that neither sleep nor slumbers, O oh Lord. Awake Awake, O oh Lord, today. Awake, O oh Lord, today. Awake, O oh Lord, today. And help us, Lord. We need your help, O oh Lord. Awake, O oh Lord. Awake, O oh Lord. To help us, O oh Lord. In Isaiah 6, verse 1. In Isaiah 6, verse 1. 
He said, in the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord sitting on a throne, high and lifted up, and the train of his robe filled the temple. We're going to pray, remove anything or anyone from our source of divine help, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, O oh Lord. Remove anyone or anything, O oh Lord, from our divine help, O oh Lord. Remove anyone or anything that is preventing us, O oh Lord, from seeing the divine help that we have in you. Let us see, O oh Lord, your hand of help, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. 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 You know, many of us, you know, we're doing the same thing, following the same instructions of our fathers and our mothers and our uncles and our bosses. Yet sometimes it's far from God's plan. You know, Saul was looking for donkeys. Instruction from his father, which is a good thing. Until he came to Samuel, who declared to him in verse 1, he said, Then Samuel took the flask of oil and poured it on his head and kissed him and said, Is it not because the Lord has anointed you commander over his inheritance? You know, Saul had kingship in his, in his destiny. Amen? You know, you know, that is, that was his purpose. That was his destiny. That was his um, calling. Amen. You're going to place your hand on your head and you're going to say, Lord, help me find and reveal my purpose, my destiny, my calling in the name of Jesus. With your divine help, O oh Lord, stir up my destiny, O oh Lord. With, my, with your help, O oh Lord, stir up, O oh Lord, the purpose, O oh Lord, for my life, O oh Lord. Stir up, O oh Lord, my destiny, Destiny, O Lord, with divine help, O Lord. The purpose, O Lord, that you've called me to do, O Lord. Stir up my destiny, O Lord. Let my destiny rise. Let my destiny speak. Let my purpose speak. Let my calling speak. Let my destiny, let it rise. Let my calling, let it rise. Let my purpose, let it rise. Let my destiny, let it rise, O Lord. With your divine help, O Lord. With your divine anointing, O Lord. Let my destiny, let my destiny, let my destiny speak. Speak, O oh Lord. Let our purpose speak, O oh Lord. Let our purpose come to the fore, Lord. Kondo. I stir up my destiny today. I stir up my purpose today. Mando Brobo. Bederebo. Mando Brondo. Yekerebe. Yondo Brondo. Yekerebo. Oro Bonde. Yekerebo. Yanderebe Shende. Mando Robo. Our destiny is speak our destinies will rise no matter what you're doing today your divine destiny will rise in the name of jesus the bible said in first peter 2 9 it says but you are a chosen generation a royal priesthood a holy nation his own special people that you will proclaim the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light you're going to pray help us lord to be that chosen generation
generation, O oh Lord. Help us, Lord, to be that chosen generation. Help us, Lord, to be the royal priesthood. Help us, Lord, your divine help, O oh Lord, to be the holy nation, to be the holy nation. Mandorobokondo, to be that special people that will be proclaim your praises. Oh Lord, help us, oh Lord, to be the chosen generation. Help us, oh Lord, to be royal, royal priesthood. Manderebebe, reke bobobo, reke bebebe, mando bobobo, yandarababa, holy nation, special people that we may proclaim your praise. Let us discover our destiny, O Lord. Mandere Bekondo, according to your promises, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 First Samuel, verse 30, 1 to 4, and then 6 to 7, quickly. First Samuel 30, 1 to 4, 6 to 7. Now it happened when David and his men came to Ziklag on the third day that the Amalekites had invaded the south and Ziklag and attacked Ziklag and burnt it with fire. Verse 2 of First Samuel 30 then says, and, he had take, and they had taken captives, the women and those who were there from small to great. They did not kill anyone, but carried them away and went their way. So David and his men came to the city, and there it was burnt with fire, and their wives and their sons and their daughters had been taken away. Then David and the people who were with him lifted up their voices and wept until they had no power to weep. Verse 6 then says, Now David was greatly distressed, for the people spoke of stoning him, because the soul of all the people were grieved, every man for his sons and his daughters. But David strengthened himself in the Lord, in the Lord his God. Verse 7 then said, Then David said to Abisa, the priest, uh, Ahimelech's son, please bring the effort here to me. And Abisa brought the effort to David. So David inquired of the Lord, saying, Shall I pursue his troop? Shall I overtake them? And he answered, Pursue, for you shall surely overtake them, and without fail recover. David and his men had lost everything. Wives, children, home, possession, and everything. Everything that mattered to them and that was precious to them and important to them, you know, they lost. They lost. But the Bible says David strengthened himself in the Lord. And before we go forward, I don't know, if you have lost anything, the instruction before we pray is this. Strengthen yourself in the Lord, not in people, not in human uh, um, promises, but God's promises. You know, what David was doing was this. You know, David was recounting back to God, God's covenant promise to, to the Lord. He said, you know, because they, um, God had promised that in his seed, there would, there would be always be somebody on the throne. Amen? And if all your children have been taken away, where is the seed? Amen? And he was recounting back all the promises that he would never leave us nor forsake us. So, you know, David went to, but David went to the Lord for help and to ask in that distressed and overwhelming state. The Bible says in Psalm 61 verse 1 to 2, it says, Hear my cry, O Lord, attend to my prayer. From the end of this earth, I will cry to you. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than high. So we're going to pray for everything that we have lost, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, O Lord, we pray, O Lord, when, when our heart is overwhelmed, O Lord, lead us to that place that is higher than I. When we're overwhelmed, oh Lord, with situation and we don't have the money, we don't know where to turn to, oh Lord. Lord, help us, oh Lord, when our hearts are overwhelmed, oh Lord. Lead us, oh Lord, to that rock, oh Lord, to that place, oh Lord, that is higher than I. When we're distressed, when we do not know what to do, oh Lord, lead us, oh Lord. Lead us, O oh Lord. Help us, O oh Lord. And you're going to pray for everything that we have lost, whether we know it 
or we don't know it, oh Lord, help us, Lord, to pursue, to overtake, to recover all, oh Lord. Help us, Lord, to pursue, to overtake, to recover all, all the business opportunities, all the money, all the job, the opportunities, the favor, oh Lord, and the we shall pursue, we shall overtake, we shall recover all. Help us, O Lord, to recover all, to redeem time. And Help us to pursue, to overtake, to recover everything that we have lost, O Lord. Mande rebo kondo, mando pro kotonde, rebe bebe bende, robo bobo bobo yondo, robo bobo bobo yoko, ande rebo shondo. Your word says in Joel two twenty one and twenty five, He said, "I will restore to you the year that the swarming locusts have eaten, the crawling locusts, the consuming locusts, the chewing locusts." My a great army which I sent among you. You're going to pray. Divine help to restore. Divine help to restore. Divine help to restore. Restore health, O Lord. Restore wealth, O Lord. Restore happiness, O Lord. Restore marriages, O Lord. Restore great relationships. Restore money, O Lord. Restore business, O Lord. Restore uh, customers, O Lord. Restore our zeal for you, O Lord. Our zeal for you, O Lord. Restore Restore it, O oh Lord. Restore, O oh Lord. Restore our health, O oh Lord. Restore our wealth, O oh Lord. Restore our happiness, O oh Lord. Restore our joy. Mandere, baby, baby. Restore, 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 restore with your divine help, O oh Lord. Restore, restore, restore all the lost opportunities. Restore, Lord. Mandere, baby, baby. Roko Boshe. Hallelujah. Restore, Lord, every wealth that we have lost, every health that we have lost, every business opportunity, O oh Lord, the jobs that we did not see, O oh Lord, restore, O oh Lord, the monies that we have lost, O oh Lord, restore, O oh Lord, restore those contracts that we were that we did not get because we chose not to bribe, O oh Lord, and they break it, that the board of Rebecca, restore, Lord, divine restoration, O oh Lord, by your hand, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Esther 4, verse 13 to 14. Esther 4, verse 13 to 14. And Mordecai told them to answer Esther. Do not think in your heart that you will escape in the king's palace any more than all the other Jews. Verse 14 of Esther 4 then said, For if you remain completely silent at this time, relief and deliverance will arise for the Jews from another place, but you and your father's house will perish. Yet who knows whether you have come to the kingdom for such a time like this. Just like Moses, Esther had been planted in the palace, in the high place, where people like Israelites had no business to help the children of Israel at the appointed time. You're going to pray. Where it seems impossible, impregnable, and improbable, let help arise in the name of Jesus. In the corridors of power and influence, O oh Lord. Ah, for KICC Kenya, help will arise in the name of Jesus. And what man, what society, what custom has declared impossible in our lives for your people, O oh Lord, make possible. What seems to be impossible, O oh Lord. Let help arise and the Rebekende in those high places and the Rebekonde in the boardrooms, O Lord. Let help arise, O Lord, in those impossible places, those impossible places, those impossible places. Let a help arise in corridors of power and influence for chaos. 
ICC. Help will arise from what God has ordained in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 And I have a word for somebody today. I'm going to break it up. You know, you are seeking a job in what seems to be the unlikely of places. People say, unless you know somebody or someone there, it is impossible. God will have me say to you that though you may not know anyone, I have planted someone there who will favor you and speak for you and help you seek the role and get that a job. So therefore, do not despair. Go, go and watch the Lord do wonders. Amen. Hallelujah. Help will show up. Help will show up suddenly, quickly. Without warning, health will arise. And Narabakondo, in those unlikely places, help will arise in that unlikely place. Reke bo 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 bo, reke bo 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 bo, rande bekende, help will arise, help will arise suddenly, quickly, without warning, because God has planted a helper in that place. Reke bo 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 bo, go and do. In the name of Jesus, reke bo 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 bo, rende be be be, yende re be 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 be, yoko robo shende, yende re bo kodo robo shende, yende re bo kodo. First Samuel ten, first Samuel ten, then says, and when you have departed from me today, you find two men by the rachel stoop in the territory of Benjamin, and donkeys which you looked for have been found, and now your father sees caring about you, and saying, what shall I do with my son? Then he said. Then you shall go forward from there and come to the terrible tree. And then three men. So two, two men initially are Rachel two. And then here in verse three it says, There are three men going up to God at Bethel will meet you carrying um, carrying three young goats, another one carrying three loaves of bread, another one carrying a skin of wine. And they will greet you and give you two loaves of bread. Verse 5 then says, After that, you shall come to the hill of God, where the Pharisees' garrison, garrison is. And it will, when you have come there to the city, that you will meet a group of prophets coming down from the high place with the string of instruments and whatever. You know, the Bible says, Samuel anointed Saul. Amen? Yeah? Two men told him about the state of the donkeys. Three men brought him gifts and blessed him. He then joined a group of prophets, prophesying, and he also prophesied. You know, you know, there are men and people who have been ordained as helpers, bringing good tidings. You're going to pray, Lord, every man and woman that will carry out your will in my life, oh Lord, bring from the north, from the east, from the south, and from the west, in the name of Jesus. Isaiah 46, 11 says, calling a bird of a prey from the east, the man or woman who executes my counsel from the far country. You're going to pray, Lord. Lord, send vision helpers, send vision helpers, send vision shapers, send vision makers, near and far, in the name of Jesus. Divine help Helpers, begin to pray. Divine helpers, that man, that woman, oh Lord, that you have ordained, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, oh Lord. They will show up. They will show up. They will show up. They will show up. The divine helpers. Vision helpers, oh Lord. Vision helpers, vision shapers, vision helpers, men and women that have been ordained, oh Lord, by you, oh Lord, to help us, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, let them manifest in the name of Jesus from the north, the east, the west, the south, oh Lord, bring them, oh Lord, wherever they are, oh Lord, bring them, oh Lord, let them show up and condo. let them not have peace until they have done your will in the name. Name of Jesus, Mandere Bobo Bobo, Vision Helpers, Mandere Bocodo, Ere Boschede, Reke Boschondo, Mandere Bobo Bobo Yoto, Reke Boschondo, Mandere Bocondo. The Bible says that these men they brought good tidings 
from the Lord to Saul. Good news to the people. The Bible says in Nahum 115, Behold on the mountain the feet of him who brings good tidings, good tidings this week, no matter what. On that matter, I declare on that issue, ah, the Lord will send good bearers, bearers of good news, bearers of good news, bearer 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 of good news and the bobo bobo boyoko elebo sheke elebo sheke mandoro bobo bobo boyoko eh good tidings you will hear good news you will hear good news men women will bring good news to you this week in the name of Jesus makara baba baba yoto mandoro bobo bobo yoto akandere bobo boyoto andere bokondo mekere boshondo elebe bebe yekere boshondo andere First Samuel verse 9, 4 to 5 then said, First Samuel 9, 4 to 5 said, So he passed through the mountains of Ephraim, through the land of Shilasha, and they did not find them. Then they passed through the land of Shalim, and they were not there. Then they passed through the land of Benjamin, but they did not find them. And when they had come to the land of Suf, Days of searching, days of working, days of searching, no result. They traveled, they traveled, they still could not find. Does that not find, sound familiar to you sometimes? And you're working and you're working and you're trying and you're trying. Still, you did not find. Hallelujah. You don't know what you know. You've been laboring without success and all of this kind of stuff. We're going to pray today. Today, we invoke divine help. The Lord will break every cycle of toiling in the name of Jesus. Toiling without result in the name of Jesus. We break it in the name of Jesus. You're working, you're working, you're working. You don't see the results of it in the name of Jesus. Because of divine help, we, 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 we break it in the name of Jesus. Today, we draw the line. Today, we draw the line. We break every cycle, every spirit, every pattern, every history of toiling is broken today. Is broken today. Is broken today. Every pattern, every pattern, every cycle, every history, every background of working and not seeing results, we break it today 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 rama mama mayeke repopopopoyoko because of the divine encounter every spirit of toiling and not finding results is broken today every spirit of working hard night and day and not finding not having results we draw the line it ends today. Mande Krebo, Mando Robo, Yekerebo, Yekerebo, Mande Krebo, Shende Rebe, Bebe, Bebe, Yeke, Rebo Shondo Robo Kede, Hande Rebo Kondo. And there is instructions to us this week. Whatever you may master in, before you go into your routine of going to work this week, or opening your shop, or opening your laptop to work online, or go to, to the uni university, this week, say to the Lord, I seek your divine help to prosper in what I'm about to do. Amen. Hallelujah. A divine word to prosper in the work of our hands will come this week in the name of Jesus. Just like Jesus gave a divine word to Simon Peter after toiling all night and it broke 
that spirit of toiling in the name of Jesus this week. A word, a word, a word, a word, a word, a word, a word to prosper. You will receive in the name of Jesus. Finally, final, final prayer, final prayer. In First Samuel 10, it says, Samuel said to Saul, then the spirit of the Lord will come upon you and you will prophesy with them and be turned into another man. You know, the ultimate helper is the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Saul did things others had to, you know, he met prophets who had gone to the high place. They had gone to pray and fast for 40 days, whatever, 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 whatever for them to then be prophesying. Paul, a uh, Saul, because the spirit of the Lord came upon him, he joined them and started prophesying. He didn't go through all of that, as they say in Nigeria, all of that wahala, all of that, whatever. No, because of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Because the Spirit of the Lord came upon him, he was accelerated, bypassed all of those. You're going to pray. Fill us again with your spirit, Lord. Holy Spirit, help us. Overwhelm us, O Lord. Holy Spirit, help us. Overwhelm us, O Lord. Begin to pray wherever you are. Begin to pray wherever you are. And as we are praying, the Bible says in John 14, verse 16, I'll just wrap it up. John 14, 16, the Amplified Version says, I will ask the Father, and he will give you another helper the comforter, the advocate, the intercessor, the counselor, the strengther, the standby to be with you. So pray, pray, Holy Spirit, the comforter, we welcome you. We need you, the advocate, I need you. The intercessor, I need you. My counselor, I need you. My strengthener, I need you. My standby, I need me, I need you. Holy Spirit, oh Lord, and go for us, oh Lord, with your power, Lord. You are our ultimate help, oh Lord. Holy Spirit, let us yield to you. Let us hear your voice, oh Lord. You are our counselor. You are our advocate. You are our intercessor. You are our counselor. You are our strength. You are our helper. You are our comforter. When we do not know, how we should pray or how we should, how we ought to pray but the spirit himself gives intercession for us oh lord holy spirit we welcome you into our lives oh lord you are our help oh lord holy spirit we thank you we thank you for helping us oh lord in our weakness oh lord in our day work oh lord in our homes oh Lord, in our business, oh Lord, among our family, Lord, Mande Reke, Rambo Kondo, Reke Shete, Rebo Kondo. Begin to thank the Lord. Wherever you are, begin to thank the Lord for divine help, for divine helpers. Handere Bokoro. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For divine help. 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 Thank you, Lord. For divine help, O Lord. Thank you, Lord. For divine helpers, O Lord. Mandere Bo. Reke Bobo. Rama Mama Yo. Rebe Bebe. Reke Bobo. Reke Shende. We thank you, Lord, for divine help, O Lord, this week, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 And I decree and I declare in accordance with Psalm 121, 1 to 8 says, I will lift up my eyes to the hill from whence comes my help. My help comes from the Lord who made, in, who made heaven and earth. And I declare and decree, verse 3, he will not allow your foot to be moved in the name of Jesus. He who keeps you will not slumber in the name of Jesus. Behold, he who keeps Israel shall neither slumber.